Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Children's Health Corps and Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Breathing Slowly for Healing, Simplified Part 2. If you're troubled with high blood pressure, please, please learn to breathe slowly. If you have anxiety, please learn to breathe slowly. If you have heart palpitation and your heart skips, please learn to breathe slowly. If you have cramps in your legs, wake up with severe pain during the sleep, please learn to breathe slowly. If you have a headache, please learn to breathe slow. If you have colitis, irritable bowel, interstitial cystitis, GERD, please learn to breathe slow. Look at part one of this video. Slow breathing for healing simplified part one. I emphasize two things. Breathe out normally and breathe in slowly, as slowly as you can, without creating any stress on yourself and without worrying about whether you're doing it right or wrong. When you take a deep breath, like the one I showed you, you tighten up your arteries, you raise your, raise your blood pressure, so you speed up your heart, you tighten your muscles, you make your stomach and the colon more sluggish, when you breathe in normally and then breathe out slowly, you allow more time for oxygen to go from the lungs into the blood where it is needed. So let's do it twice. Breathe in normal, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe in normal. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Please do change the pattern you're breathing. If you're not careful, the probability is that when you're under stress, you're hyperventilating. Hyperventilation has various degrees and it is very harmful in the long run. Breathe slow in your kitchen, breathe slow in your living room, breathe slow in your bedroom, breathe slow in your, at your work, breathe slow in the bus on the way to the work or on the train on the way to the work, breathe slow when you're walking in the park or in the movies. I have written so extensively on this subject. I have documented by a large number of studies the physiologic effects but here I want to keep it simple. Breathe in normal and breathe out slow and please, please, please keep it simple. Children's Health Corps was funded and founded by Talat, my wife and I. Our mission is to provide authentic information about nutrition, environment and stress for children worldwide for their parents, for their grandparents, for their teachers and for enlightened citizens. Please forward this segment to your contacts. Visit our website www.kids123.org. There is so much useful information on that website. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much.